In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to um, make someone's head appear larger. Um, so how to enlarge someone's head. Now I was inspired to make this video, uh, this tutorial by Ice Flow Studios tutorial. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing, just it's a little bit different than his since GIMP does not have all the features that Photoshop has, or I think that's the program he was using. So this is the original image. I'm just going to bring everything closer. So this is the original image, and then this is the, um, the edited image. So you can tell the difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Um, so start out with your picture. I'm just going to, I would not recommend trying this on people with long hair. So that's why I chose someone who was more or less bald. Um, so I would recommend using someone who doesn't really have that much hair because it's very hard to select all those different, you know, strands of hair. So I'm just going to duplicate my background layer. You don't have to. I'm just doing that so you can, later on you can compare. Then you're going to want to grab your paths tool and make a selection around the head part. So um, I already pre-made that path so it wouldn't... So there you go, as you can tell, if you can see that line, it's around the jawline right there and then the head. So um, after you've made the path, press enter or oops, press enter or when you have the pass tool and that'll turn the path into a selection. Or you can just go into your pass dialog, right click on the path and select path to selection. Then go to edit copy, or you can just press Control c then you can um, pay, uh, press Control v to paste the image in, or you can go to Edit, Paste. Then um, I'm just going to press this little new layer icon while the selection is still floating so that it makes a new layer. Now just grab your Scale tool, and down here press keep aspect or um, just press control while you're um, dragging so now you can just go ahead and enlarge your person's head um, try to make it believable so don't make it too large so that it's just way too big unless that's what you're aiming for and I'm just gonna move his head over a little and there you go that's how you would enlarge someone's head and if you would like you can and um if you'd like, you can grab the dodge and burn tool and just under type press burn and I'm just going to use a circle of fuzzy brush um, and on the original image um, under like on the neck area right here you can kind of darken that a little um, I don't know that looks really awkward when I do it but that might help a little so yeah, that's how you would enlarge someone's head.